Is your vehicle AC blowing warm air like mine is? This is my 2016 Jeep Renegade, and with summer approaching, we can't have that. In today's video, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is for you to recharge your own AC system and get back to being cool again on these hot summer days. Although this isn't my typical girly video, I thought it was important to share it because it is a DIY project. And it could also save you hundreds if not thousands of dollars like in my case. So if this is something that you're interested in knowing about, then just keep watching. So dealerships will tell you all sorts of stuff and they charge an arm and a leg. But what they don't tell you is that most people just opt to get it recharged and that could last for years instead of replacing the entire air conditioning system. So they told me I was low on refrigerant. Minimum it would be $500 or even up to $2,000 depending on what they found. Not happy hearing this? I went home and did my own research. Disclaimer, I'm no mechanic, so do your own research. I'm just sharing in this video how simple it was for me to fix my own air conditioning system. I found out with these two products, a gauge and some refrigerant, in about 15 minutes of my time, I could fix it myself. And the best part is, it only cost about $100. So I was thrilled about that. So if you wanna learn how now, let's get started. Let's pop the hood open. From inside the car, pull the hood release until you hear it pop. Then slide the yellow tab to unlock and lift. Then lift the rod to prop the hood up. The first thing to do is locate the refrigerant label needed for your vehicle. Mine requires R1234YF refrigerant. I used Honeywell brand as shown here and will link all the products used in this video below in the more info area. Next locate your L port. I'm pointing to where mine is. Here's a closer look. It will focus here in a second. It's not exactly a convenient spot. Remove the cap. Most caps have a letter L on them. Mine didn't. Make sure you put it in a safe spot not to lose it. This is the gauge I will be using. I'm following the instructions located on the back of the box. It also recommends you always wear gloves and safety goggles. I miss that part. Step 1. Getting a pressure check. Start the car and turn the AC on the highest setting. Step 2. Use the quick connect coupler on the gauge and attach it to the low pressure service port. This would normally be easy to do, but I was having a hard time connecting it due to where it was located. When you have it connected correctly, it will immediately move slightly. I almost didn't get this in the shot, but if you look closely, you can barely see it move. Mine is in the low zone now. It's the perfect level to add the refrigerant. If it goes into the yellow zone, you're good and don't need to add. But if it's in the red zone, you may need to see a mechanic. Step 4. Now since my pressure check is good, disconnect the coupler from the L port and screw the gauge onto the can of refrigerant counterclockwise. Then attach the coupler to the L port once again. Step 5. Shake the can and squeeze the trigger while rotating the can from the 12 to 3 o'clock position. Step 6. Check the pressure every 10 to 15 seconds by releasing the trigger. Charging is complete in the green zone. Hmm, I'm having issues reading the gauge. It doesn't appear to be moving. A couple of times it went up, but then the next check it was lower. One time I saw it barely in the green, not quite at the 30 mark, so I continued to shake it. 
I was aiming for around the 35 to 40 mark, but never saw it. Then when I would check again, it was in the low zone. I thought maybe when I saw it in the low zone, I needed to wait to see if the needle would gradually increase, but it did not. I just wasn't seeing it move, so I thought I'd better stop. I then decided to check and see if it was actually blowing cold air. And to my surprise it was, it was blowing icy cold air. Here is where I waited to see if it would gradually increase, and it did a tiny bit, but then it stopped. I'm just happy to have ice cold air again, and I'm going to stop at this low green level. Even though I never saw it get to the 3540 mark, I was happy to see it in the green and didn't want to risk overfilling it. Better to be safe than sorry. I wanted to share with you the problems I had in case it happens to you, but even with these small issues, it was still worth doing it myself and saving all that money. It was a total success in my opinion, and I'm so pleased to be cool again. Okay, well I'm so happy that that project's out of the way. It's time to relax. It's a beautiful summer day. I can't wait to get into my car and be cool again. So if you like this video, give me a little thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would love to see y'all come back here when we do our next DIY project. Until then, I love you and take care.